Hi, welcome back to Rusted Junk Garage. Tonight I want to give you a short video and show you some of the cosmetic stuff we're doing on the 55 Chev Junker truck. Uh, I want to show you how the artillery wheels turned out and some real crummy pinstripe that I did. So ride along with us and enjoy the video. Well, finally, after months of waiting, well, I guess since middle of April, <clears throat> I finally got my hubcaps and my trim rings in for the 15-inch GM artillery wheels. Uh, they take a special hubcap to fit the clips for an artillery wheel, and these are just a standard ribbed 15-inch uh, trim ring. Uh, like I said, these are... 15 inch GM artillery wheels and I was going to pull them off have the tires dismounted sandblast and paint them and have the tires mounted up but gosh darn it probably it cost me a couple hundred bucks for mount and dismount so instead I just took scotch Bright and kind of worked all the rust off of them and used a wire wheel on the drill motor and did that then I just shot some clear over it, slapped on the trim rings, and there you have it. Actually, um, I'm pretty pleased with the with the way they turned out. Let me get, see if I can get you in there a little bit closer. Kind of fits the uh, the junk theme of uh, of this truck. So yeah. Anyway, that's pretty good. I did lift the front end back onto the truck. It's not bolted down yet. <clears throat> I am going to pull that back off again to uh, when I put the heater in and do a few other things. It's very simple to pull on and off. So anyway, just wanted to show you those and, and how that turned out. Like I said, uh, this isn't a 100 point show truck. This is, uh, this is rusted junk and that's what it is. It's the shop truck. So anyway, I uh, did that, did a uh, little pin striping on the front there, and also did some, um, well, underneath the door there, it looks kind of okay, I guess, and uh, did a little highlight on the tailgate also, let me move all the mowers out of the way, so, yeah, so we're getting there, uh, hopefully get a few more parts in. Get that interior back together, uh, the clutch in, and we'd be ready to take this for a drive. 